Hey guys, what's up? It's Toy Bro back again for another older Masters of the Universe Classics figure review. And today we've got a figure from 2010. That sounds right. Uh, we have got the, at oftentimes, controversial Roboto figure from Mattel. Uh, this guy is an interesting figure. He has some unique parts. He has some shared parts. He's got a whole lot of uniqueness going on in his chest and he is a great nod to the original vintage Roboto figure. So we're going to take a look at all the normal stuff and then we'll go through all the the doodads on the inside of this guy. So articulation is normal basic Motu Classics articulation. There is nothing special about this guy but there are a couple changes that kind of switch things up a bit. So the head can swivel, can go up and down a bit, the mouth cover, face guard, whatever this thing is, it is articulated, it, it, it hinges, so you can move it up and down a little bit, not tons of motion, but this piece of articulation swaps out something else, and we'll get to that in a second. Arms can go out, they go all the way around, bicep swivel, single joint at the elbow, and then we have uh, rotation at the wrist. There is a waist twist, but there is no crunch, that's because of the inner workings of Roboto here. Legs can go pretty far out, probably more than you ever really need. Uh, they can go up a decent bit, but not too much just because the pads on the legs are going to hit the crotch piece, and then as usual they swivel at that joint. We have got a single joint at the knee, we've got boot cut or shin swivel if you prefer, and then we've got a hinge at the ankle. Mine are, mine are kind of janky, they're not the best. But they could be loose, and they're not loose, so that's that's a good thing when it comes to Motu Classics. So, like I said, he's missing an ab crunch, and that is obviously due to the fact that he has tons and tons of stuff on the inside. So, we'll go through kind of the sculpt, because he's, he's something to talk about in terms of sculpt, and then we'll do paint, and we'll, we'll circle back to, to demo all of this fun stuff on the inside. So, as far as the sculpt goes, he is kind of half reuse and half new uh, in terms of what he offers. So, He's got the lower half that is entirely from the optic figure. Right here. So we've got from the from the waist, from the crotch piece down, they are identical. And Optic gets most of that from Trap Jaw. He just he just has a different crotch piece. So you can see they are identical, but at the same time, they're very much different just because of the paint applications, which is pretty cool. I like that they were able to use these parts to make Roboto just with a, a fresh coat of paint really changes the entire look of these legs for me. So that's cool. That's kind of the uh, the main part of Motu. Reusing parts is always good. And then we've got the the new arms with like the circuitry type design all over them. And they're I, I said he he's kind of a controversial figure, and it's because part of that is because of the arms. So the shoulders are actually reversed. And if I remember correctly, they are actually labeled correctly, uh, or they're labeled incorrectly, which causes them to be assembled incorrectly. So the right one says left, and the left one says right, or L and R. So they weren't assembled incorrect by the factory. They were. It was a tooling problem, I guess. Uh, I don't really think it's a big deal on this figure in particular. It doesn't look too bad, and it's. I mean, I can notice it, but at the same time. You know, after having him on the shelf for a while and not really paying attention to him, I was like, I don't really care at this point. I don't think I even really cared when he came out, but I know a lot of folks were a little peeved by that. So, something to note. And then he's got uh, kind of the robo-style gloved hands going on here as well. Obviously, we have got the claw attachment on right now, and we'll go over these uh, in a minute. But he does have, you know, the same style right hand as he does on the left. They're just, they're different in terms of sculpting, how they peg in, and then obviously this one is a more gripping hand and this one's more open. So you've got that. And then we've got the uh, vintage style Roboto head with, you know, kind of little cybernetic robotic designs to him. And he's got the moving mouth face guard thing on it. So it's very much a vintage look. I remember the vintage figure. I don't have one anymore. I remember that the kind of bill, or whatever you want to call this, was more straight and kind of jutted out more. This one's a bit more angled, which I think is nice. And then the big thing, I mean, this is what he's known for, is 
the inner workings of the chest. So you can see that he's got all these gears on the inside because he's got a clear chest, obviously. You, you've been watching this video. You can see that he's got all kinds of, uh, of gears and there's like wires and all sorts of robotic type things that are going on inside the buck of this figure. And that is part of the other controversy for this guy is that this chest piece was to some degree prone to cracking. Mine does have a crack on it. Uh, it's, it's not that noticeable and to this day it still doesn't really bother me. Uh, this particular crack right here, you can probably, I think based on the lighting, you can probably see it. There's a little crack there. And basically what will happen is over time, uh, some folks have had cracking in around the shoulder joints. And mine kind of look like they might be cracking internally at this point. Um, so do I care? Not really. Unless the chest piece falls apart, I don't really care at this point. He is a seven-year-old figure, so, you know... They, they kind of experimented with this clear plastic, and, and obviously it wasn't a, a success for Mattel, but this one is held up at least better than I would have expected based on what I saw when this guy first came out. So back to the, to the action feature, because that's, that's what this is. This is a legit action feature in the Motu Classics line. So as you turn Roboto, if you turn his waist and keep his uh, chest kind of static, you can see those gears will move. And then he's got gears on the back side that will move as well. So he's got a peg system in there that is rotating those gears, which I think is really cool. And then another little uh, nod, I think this is mini comics related. He's got a heart on the inside. You can kind of see the red heart behind that red gear. So that's a kind of a nod to one of the mini comics, I believe. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's where that comes from. Okay, so there's a lot going on for the sculpt on this guy. We can't forget paint because he's got a decent amount of paint as well. So he's got a lot of a wash all over the legs. There's a wash in the pads on the thighs and then all along the line work on the boots themselves along with metallic uh, blue accents. We've got metallic purple on the crotch piece and then all of the, the circuitry pieces on the arms have a kind of metallic blue sheen on them as well. And then the gloves, the red hands rather, also have a bit of a wash on them. My only real problem in terms of the paint is that they made some kind of odd choices. So the head is actually cast in red plastic and then it's painted. And then the hands are cast in a blue plastic and then they're painted red. I, at times like that, it makes me wonder why they don't just cast them in the, in the right colors if they're not going to have to paint them too much. So but there's a lot more paint going on on this hand if they just cast it the same color that they needed it to be. So, you know, I'm not a toy manufacturer. So that's, you know, not for me to decide, but it seems kind of odd. And then we've also got the uh, metallic blue accents on the back of the head as well as the front. And then we've got some black on there as well. So he does have quite a bit of paint going on. And where I have it, for the most part, it's pretty well done. I do have some silver paint kind of peeking through on the knee joint in there, which despite being kind of hidden, really bugs me when I open that leg. But for the most part, I am relatively okay with how my particular figure turned out in that regard. And now as far as accessories goes, we've got, I guess you want to say we've got four total. So we've got the hand, and then we've got the three uh, removable, swappable pieces that you can put in place of the right hand. So the first one we've got is the double-bladed axe, and these are uh, all metallic silver and metallic blue. So we've got the double-bladed axe there. We have got the dual-barreled blaster, which I think is my favorite. That's usually what I put on him which I think is really cool. It's got that nice fin on the top. And then we've got uh, the claw, the kind of grabber for Roboto, which again, is I'd say that's my second favorite. The, the axe is probably the, the one I use the least. And then I think the claw is pretty cool as well. They're all molded in kind of a rubbery plastic as well. So overall, this is an interesting figure. I'm not going to say he's great, he's not bad. I do understand that there was a lot of issues with this particular figure when he came out. I just never really encountered all of them. Granted, you know, I do see what the problems are. The shoulders don't really bug me, and my chest piece is okay. It's, it's not pristine, but it's okay. And I think the fact that they did this so we could get the action feature and that it does work really well is just a huge selling factor to me. Roboto's never been really a character that I really cared too much about he he's nothing special to me he doesn't hold uh you know a place in uh in my nostalgic heart or anything like that but 
I like what they did with him. I like the options they gave us in terms of the accessories, and you really can't beat those rotating gears. It's just a really cool thing to have on this figure in this line in particular. So that's going to do it for this look at the Motu Classics Roboto figure from Mattel. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that whole thing. And until next time, guys.